sorry for not telling you about Abby, okay? And that I've been struggling a bit more than usual. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, when exactly did you start struggling a bit more than usual? Well, don't say it like that. Well, I've been out here trying to work it all out, and I can come to the conclusion that I think it was when you agreed to start helping Abby. Oh, here we go. Which is exactly what I warned you about. I knew it. Go on, say it. Say it. Say what? Say I told you so. You've been dying to, so don't deny is it. Is that why you didn't tell me? You didn't tell me because you didn't want to admit that you've made a spectacular mess of this. Well, that's not true. I, I helped Abby. I did. Oh, you helped her, all right. You helped her until she tried to get you into bed. That seems to be a bit of a habit with you, doesn't it, Peter? Sorry, is, is this funny to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. No, absolutely not, Peter. Although it is laughable. What's laughable? This. What's this? Us. Well, you. Like a walking cliche. I mean, you, you love a damsel in distress. You, you seem to revel on being a saviour. And then you, as soon as they're strong enough, you just boom onto the next one. Such a load of rubbish you're talking. Really? Me after Frank, toy in a bad marriage, vulnerable Abby. This isn't fair. Might not be fair, Peter, but it's truth, isn't it? I mean, you weren't bothered about me until the factory roof caved in and my head fell off. I mean, you were about to skip town, weren't you? Just, just, will you face it? You know, you love being a hero, but when it comes to the boring, day-to-day, -day, boring relationship stuff, you just can't hack it. God, I don't have to listen to this. Oh, well, no. Ugh, sh I went a bit far. I'm sorry. Do you really think all that? Sometimes. And I wonder why you're with me. I'm with you because I love you. OK, yeah, and I get that most of the time. It's just that... I don't... Peter, Peter oh, past is hard to, to get over. I just don't like you thinking that I enjoy seeing you vulnerable. Last year, for me, that was torture. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. You've got to admit, there's a double standard here. How do you mean? Well, you could have been a little bit more sympathetic to my struggles when all I did was support you through yours. So we're going back to... The... Hang on. What don't you get about this, Peter? I couldn't support you because you didn't tell me about it. OK, in fact, you lied, Peter. You, you lied about being tempted to drink, about Abby trying it on with you. Yeah, trying. Being the operative word, nothing happened. We didn't even kiss. You slept with Jordan and I didn't complain once. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Don't. Please, I didn't mean it. I was ill. I know. You said that you understood that. You said that you knew I... I, I did had no understand control over it. it. I did. I do. <sighs> Clearly not. <sighs> so, what, what was it you just... You just said you, you said that... You didn't complain once. Meaning what you had every right to and that you, you chose not to. Caleb, please, love, don't do this. I'm sorry. No, you know what? It's actually good. It's good that I know how you actually feel about me. But, um, I think you ought to go now. Carla, please. Oh, no, no. Peter, really, go.